Fire the engineer, man. <laughs> we <laughs> recorded <laughs> now. <laughs> Is this thing on? And now, to the millions and millions of listeners and viewers all across the world, it's the That's Not Christian Podcast. Crazy. I got one last one last question before we wrap up, and I and I want to make this point for the listeners. You will yeah. find this question only on YouTube. You're not going to find it on Spotify, Apple Music, nowhere, only on YouTube. So if you want to listen to it, make sure you check out the YouTube channel. All right. So the question is, with COVID, what do you guys think the business dynamics are after this is all over? Like, where do you guys see touring um, and, you know, events and stuff? You, uh, Her, you mentioned you, you already have done some events. Like, what have you seen that's different versus uh, pre-COVID? One, you got to be creative. You have to be smart. You got to think outside of the box to flourish right now. Um, that's coming from uh, an entrepreneurial aspect. Like you have to literally be creative to flourish. Um, the the beautiful thing about us is we don't have a brick and mortar, so it didn't hurt when they shut everything down and we didn't have this overhead that we had to maintain and still try to maintain sales to maintain the overhead. Um, from a consumer standpoint, I don't know about other places, but I know in California, the EDD and the SBA changed the streets. Mm. There's so much money out there um, that whether it's stolen money or rightful money, it's just a lot of money out there. And so people are itching to get out and spend money and do things. So when, when, when things open back up, it's going to be a real influx in the market man the economy is really going to boost real fast because people are anxious people want to go sit in a restaurant and eat people want to go walk through the mall and buy stuff people want to go to the club or just whatever people want to do whatever your outside entertainment leisure or vice is people is going to be anxious to do it so when it open back up man it's going to be a boom and then the boom is going to wear off and then you have to figure out how to be creative again and so I'm just waiting for that, man. I'm waiting for, for, for things to open back up so that the stuff that I've been sitting, playing, plotting, and strategizing on, I can actually do in the physical market. And then we've just been playing, plotting, and strategizing on how to be successful virally. You know what I mean? Because these phones, man, uh, it changed everything. People, more people yeah. on their phones than watch TV. Yep. So if you get somebody's attention, you have to get on their phone. You know what I'm saying? Like, so the, the 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 Super Bowl commercial is effective, but I could do more through a sponsored Facebook and Instagram ad than they can on the Super Bowl because more people are on their phones than watch the TV. Right. And so we had to figure out now how to beat the algorithm, how to make the algorithm our friend mm -hmm. instead of making it work against us so that we could be successful in this climate. And then with that, that's going to change in a couple of years. The, the the big Fortune 500 companies and all that, they're going to take control of the sponsored target marketing. And then the, the middleman and the little man has to find another way to engage his consumer. And so we're just trying to take care of that right now. Good stuff. Did, did you feel, did y'all feel like this was like a, a pause for the world, like from the Lord? Because it's, you know, you can stop a lot of things, right? You can go to war with someone and y'all can physically attack something, you know what I mean? But with this virus, it was something that was, you couldn't stop necessarily, right? It was, it was like uncontrollable in a sense. Yeah. And did y'all feel like, like the Lord was putting the world on a timeout or like, you know what I mean? Like what, what, what do you, what do y'all feel kind of feel like what this virus is 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 intended for or maybe in your own life or, or you know what i mean what what y'all see around the world on a major scale i feel like um it's something that that man is doing naturally we know that but i feel like god is using it you know what i mean like god is going to use any moment you know he's going to get the glory what the enemy thought would, would would reign and be evil god will turn it around for good you know so we know all these things 
But I feel like um, I feel like God did. God is using this to get people's attention. You know, definitely to um, the church, the body of Christ. Right. Because I feel personally that there's a divide in the body of Christ. You know, this is mm-hmm. things that we talk about, and there's a divide. There's a divide that comes from perspective. You know, people speaking out of emotion. People speaking from political beliefs. You know, so it's just this divide. Like if I post something right now. It's like the next believer is waiting to question it. It's like, yeah. it's like calm down, bro. Like, just chill. Yeah. But, he ain't like your video, but he wants to. He ain't like this. Yeah. He ain't doing this. Yeah. And it's like, and the whole world is looking at the church community. You know what I mean? I even feel like we should be the front runners of everything right now. Like, like the world is, everybody's scared. People I talk yeah. to, they, man, what's going on in the world? Like, the body of Christ should be the front runners and really. We should have speakers in our community, in the church community, that's really speaking life into the atmosphere on major platforms. I believe we're lacking that. We don't have that right now. The church is, is just not being represented. You know what I mean? So I just feel like we, like God is getting our attention and really putting a mirror in front of us, the body of Christ and people individually that, that's dealing with their own things that God is getting. Like me, I got things that during this process, God has mirrored me. And that I'm working on, you know what I mean? Right. So it's not shots fired. It's just, I believe that the body of Christ, especially what, what's going on in the in the black and Latino communities across the, you know, California from New York, the United States, you know, everywhere. And what's going on with, 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 with left and right wing, when you're talking about politics and voting and, and, and Trump and Biden, like there's a divide. Everything has been set up to create this divide. And it's mm-hmm. like the church is falling for it. And I see the church arguing every day on social media, Trump, mm-hmm. Biden, yeah. and I'm like, come on, man. Like, we got to figure this thing out. You know what I mean? And people at home, they got a lot of time on their hands. Everybody's stuck like this, from the kids to the parents. Everybody, <laughs> family's having dinner in the house. The the, the meat getting everybody cold because everybody's phone. scrolling. You know what I mean? Like, we, we all right. stuck in our phones, man. Like, and like my house. Yo, just at me, me, man. At, at me next time when you go say that. <laughs> <laughs> the other day I was out, the other day I was researching and I was I fell asleep. I'm like, y'all really just fell asleep with the phone in my hand? Like seriously? <laughs> man. Really enjoyed that. <laughs> yeah, for real, man. So again, um uh, I believe it's a it's it's the we're embarking upon the next great awakening. God is doing something big. He's raising mm-hmm. up a remnant, you know, and, and I just pray and we pray our prayer is that 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 God reveal it to us and we can see it. And uh, and step in front of it, you know what I mean, and, and mm-hmm. be not just see it and just shaking our head like man, but to to get a revelation and step in front of it and be a part of the remnant, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm glad y'all brought that up. I'm glad. Oh, go ahead. Her, you was about to say something. No, I just said what he said. Oh, what man. I said. <laughs> <laughs> they like what he said. Yeah. They like Moses and Aaron, but they switch back and forth. Right? <laughs> but I'm glad he brought it up because I was gonna ask y'all. You know, being with because you y'all both stepping out, right? You said y'all doing some type of outreach. Y'all out in the streets doing doing um different things. Um, but you see it, right? You see it in the streets. Y'all see what's going on. Y'all see it firsthand. So that, I was about to ask, and I'm glad you brought it up, that um, what's going on outside and how y'all feel about that, you know, because of the fact that y'all see this firsthand. Y'all out in the hood, you see, you know, you see the divide, but not only what's going on out there with the streets, with the police, stuff like that, but also politically, you know what I'm saying, with everything going on. And then, and then you throw in your Christian folks. So y'all seeing this firsthand, but you know, you kind of touched on that on, but at the same time, like how you feel about it, you know, cause it's wild. Like it's crazy times and we kind of deal with it a lot. And her, uh, you, I'm kind of new to that chat that y'all, that y'all already in Jimmy switch. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't, I don't say much because you know I, I'll turn away and there's like a 200 messages I missed. I don't even know where to catch up. <laughs> I scroll past all of them. Don't feel bad, dude. So half of, half of the, half of them are, are about LeBron James. LeBron trash. But sometimes in the middle of all of that, you kind of get like you know outside of LeBron, you kind of get those topics. But again, yeah. you know what I'm saying, like 
it's it's in the air. Like it's so thick, just going around everywhere. No matter where you go, is it feel like it's thick? Like we walking on eggshells. Man, I think though, I think in all actuality, the streets ain't changed. Man, the streets is the same. It's the civilian. Yeah. It's the civilian sector of life that changed. It's the 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 inner closet racists who feel comfortable being racist right now. It's the um, people who the homosexual community who feel like if you disagree with their homosexuality that you're hating them. So now they got to be stronger with putting their agenda out. It's the people who are pro-abortion or against abortion. Like the streets has been the streets. People mm-hmm. getting money, people killing, the sex, drugs, all that kind of stuff, been in the streets. The thing that's changing is the bigger part of society is now in this influx of confusion. And like that line that he was talking about is drawn. It's been a line in the streets. Mm-hmm. You from what color you wear? That's where you from? Mm-hmm. It's a problem. You know what I'm saying? That line has been in the streets. It's in the suburbs and all that where you live next door to your neighbor and everything is cool. Now your neighbor will side eye you if you got a Biden 2020 sticker or a Trump 2020 sticker, or if if you're a Caucasian and you have a flag in front of your house, it's automatically that you racist and you are a Trump supporter. And then you can't be a Trump supporter and not be a racist in people's eyes. So like the it's the civilian sector that's real weird and don't know how to move. The streets, we know how to move in right. confusion. I know how to move in an area where, yeah, like that's normal. <laughs> yeah. It's the people who live in the civilians who were living in this facade of peace that they thought everybody was cool in their neighborhood because they mm. said, how do you mow your, your lawn? Now, he really don't like you. It's just that the topics that we disagreed on never, never got bought up. Right, mm. right. The right. social climate is everything is on the table. And media is almost forcing you to make a decision to wow. choose. Everybody know right. where you stand. And right. then wow. once you everybody know where you stand, they become a problem. So like when we go to the hood, it's the same problems that we've been dealing with. It's right. when you deal with regular people, now they mad because they can't vote for who they want to vote for, or they're sad because of the stuff that the media is putting out there. That's the big thing. And like, they gotta be and they gotta be extra in a sense. It's almost like yeah. It's almost like uh, what, like I mean, not to compare it so much, but like civil rights. It was mm-hmm. like you couldn't eat in this in this area, but you would go there to make your protest to make it known. Like, look, this is yeah. this is the rights that we have now. So that's the same. That's a good point, you know. Like with the homosexual community, the the left everybody. wing, the right wing, everybody wants to go overboard with it. In this, yeah. you know, like you're saying, you know what I mean. See? It's bugged out. Like, for me, it's bugged out because, like, I know a lot of, you know, like, a lot of street dudes I know back in Brooklyn, it's, like, you, they, they don't need to be allowed on Facebook, yo. But <laughs> <laughs> they be on, they get on Facebook and they need to get blocked. But yeah. now these dudes are street dudes, right? But now they want to be George Stephanopoulos, too, now. Now you want to, yeah. I want to be political advisors. You yeah. know so It be no crazy. Facts. And yeah. no research. No research, man. No research. Right, right. They be, you know what I'm saying? Yo, yeah, they'll come out with some craziness like, you know, Biden this, that, or Trump, you know, man, like, I ain't, dude, you just came out. When, when, when you heard this from? Like, like come on. <laughs> oh, they, oh, they judge Trump. Oh, Trump is acting like this. But you just busted your gun not too long ago. What you talking about? <laughs> right. you know, weird <laughs> this is the weird thing, man. Politics is about policies. Mm-hmm. The media has now got everybody to choose a side based on personality. Yep. Yeah. That's the crazy part. So, like, a lot of people don't even know what Biden is standing for. I, but I still don't know. Him because they hate <laughs> Trump's personality. True story. Yep. Or yeah. accuse him just to get Trump out of office. Exactly. Right. So, right. Or because your mama and your grandma and, and all your auntie, we Democrat. We've been Democrat. That's what we, you don't I've, even know what you stand yeah. for, but I'm automatically by default Democrat. You know, so we vote Democrats, Democrats are supposed to be for the man. poor. Yep. You yeah, right. don't know what a Democrat stand for. Like, not to get deep off into it, but I tell people all the time, like, do some research on Joe Biden. 
because me coming from California, I know about the mass incarceration. Mm-hmm. I know about three strikes law. I know whose name you know, is attached to it. I know mm-hmm. what this dude did. I know why he did it. I know that he was one of the dudes that invested in, in the in, in prisons, not just in California, but from California, Nebraska, on to New York. I know mm-hmm. what this did in his 47 year, years of being a councilman. Not that I'm holding him accountable for all of that or I'm over here right. just right down, but I know what bills that he was responsible for passing. I know why he did it. I know the agenda that was behind mm. the the the, um, the team of people that he was, when they was under Clinton, we're talking about in 93 and 94 and 95, like mm-hmm. I knew what this dude did. And again, you can't hold a person accountable for something they did 20 years ago. This is not that, I'm not judging him, but know who you're mm-hmm. voting for, not because of the title, but know what this dude stand for. Like you have to do your research right. and things about Trump. Trump is a jerk, you know, quote unquote. He'll get <laughs> under your skin. He'll say this. He'll do that. But there's some things that I do like about Trump. And then dudes in my community be like, bro, you tripping, man. You can't like right. Trump. Or you can't say this and that about Trump. I'm like, bro, do you know what? Lost your black card. Yeah, you lose your black card. And, and I don't mind to you because I ain't scared to say what I'm going to say because I'm going to say it and pull right back up and speak to you. Like, you know what I mean? But I, I know some of the bills that Trump is responsible for passing. I know some of the things that he has done outside of his crazy personality. You know what I mean? Like, so right. it's like the balance is like, oh man, like everybody just waiting on that double right. dutch line to defend it. They come to <laughs> the fence. As soon as I say something, oh man, you tripping, bro. I've been knowing you for 40 years, man. Now you don't yeah, want to talk to me no more. You, right? Yeah, that's funny. Yeah, like that's crazy, bro. Like, yeah, I think, uh, Hurt, you posted something uh, like last week or something like that, right? About Republicans and, and liberals and how they was fighting. And like, I have views that land on both sides, but both of y'all are still hypocrites, right? At the end of the day, this is the 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 the, the confusion. The Democrat and the Republican, the Senate, House of Representatives, all that, they work for the same people. Right. Mm-hmm. So, like, it's almost as if what freeway are you going to take to get to the same destination? Mm. Are you going to take the freeway that takes you all the way out of your way? Mm. Or are you going to take the freeway that's the shortest distance where they got the most traffic? Right. Right. <laughs> you to the same you'll take, you'll though, take the 110 right? or the 405, right? I was gonna say the 60 or the 10. Yeah, I, 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 I feel you though. I feel you 60 or the 10. You know what I mean? You yeah, know, but you know what I mean? Like, so it's like they work for the same um force entity, like at, at the end of the day, and they work for the people that you don't get to see. Because the people that you don't get to see make all the decisions. When you go to McDonald's, whoever decided that a Big Mac would cost what it costs, you'll never get to see that person. You know what I mean? The comments on the new stuff on the menu and all that, or, or are we taking playgrounds away? Because remember, playground was a yeah. thing that bought a team when we was kids. Yeah. Yeah. But whoever make those decisions, you don't get to see. The people who make the real decisions about countries, we don't see them. And they put these puppets in front of us to be the face of what we do. It's problem, reaction, solution. Create a problem, get a reaction from the public, and then you present the solution so that your original agenda to manifest and it'll get people on board for what you want to do. And so like, if you pick Democrat or Republican, at the end of the day, it's the same people. I've I've seen six presidents in my life. My life has been the same. Only thing that's really changed is like some taxes and little things like that. Right. But like, Life issues are the same. The same life issues that the hood been the hood. Is like, give the Caesar what's the Caesars. It's the same life issues, right? Like it's, you got the left wing, the right wing, same airplane, same bird, same bird, yeah, same exactly. bird. <laughs> yeah. That was real. You know what I mean? I, I really don't get caught up in the extras of it. Like, and I, I don't believe that they the answer. I believe that we are. Like he was saying, the church needs to yeah. be in the front of everything. Um, we separated church and state, and that is against the will of God. When God created Adam, church and state was one. Because Adam controlled the government. Adam controlled the spiritual aspect of everything on earth. So church and state wow. were to be one when God created mankind. Man failed, and we separated the two as if righteousness doesn't have to control the law. So now... The law is unrighteous and it's lawless. 
because we separated the two. Mm. And so I'm not looking mm. for these dudes to fix nothing. Mm. I'm not. Like, right. and I would be stupid to look to them to fix anything. They say you, you do the same thing and look for a different uh, result. result is insanity. Insanity, insanity like, right. Mm. The government has never fixed nothing. Right. The government has never fixed nothing. There's a saying that when the, 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 the people work for the government, it's tyranny. We live in a tyrannical society. Right. Because we're supposed to work for us. Democracy, they're supposed to work for us, but we work for them. Let's be real. And so, like, at the yeah. end of the day, until we take our God-given rights and our ability and our voices serious, like, we're going to be looking for our oppressor. And this don't have nothing to do with race because the government oppresses everybody who ain't their people. Right. And that's right, how I right. feel about Trump. Like, people think Trump is racist. I don't think Trump is racist. I think Trump is a gangster. Gangsters only care about who they care about. And if I don't care about you, then it is what it is. So there's some blacks, some, some Hispanics, some Asians that Trump care about. They in his inner circle. The other people that's not in it, I don't care about you. Right. But mm. when he come off like that, it made those quiet races, they 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 got some some liquid courage, so to speak, and now they step out. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not looking for my oppressor to do anything for me. I'm looking for my king and my lord to do it all through me, and I'm going to go out there and make it happen. Mm. Amen. Uh, uh, real quickly, oh, Lord, real quick, uh, we're going to stay on this subject, and this is part of uh, something that came up today, and it's Kanye's video. I don't know if her and uh, just to mention that you've seen it, but obviously we know Kanye's running for president. He came out with a video that looked like a typical presidential ad. And uh, he talks about how we need to bring prayer back it back back to the United States, and we need uh, to focus on the family um, and 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 the, the core of the family. So, wh what you guys think? And uh, yeah, what what you guys think about that? And Kanye he has uh, he wants a lot of votes. Mm. He's standing on righteousness, but as soon as you say we really gonna bring God in, because you start right. talking about the Constitution and all that, and right. It's he was built on God and these principles. and But as soon as he said that, he lost all the gays. <laughs> he, lost, he lost the racist people. Like, you lost a whole lot of people. And I know it's not about that, but I'm just saying, like, when you talk talking about really running for president, and it's good that he's unapologetically standing for his, 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 his code. Everybody got different code. Like, don't be right. false. He's standing on his code, but, like, when I saw that, I saw, like you say, the spirit of offense, mm -hmm. the spirit of offense just start jumping up. People can't wait. Oh my God, he's talking about bringing prayer in school and my son is transgender. So how are you going to do that? And like all that extra mm -hmm. stuff will come up. I just don't think he's going to win. It would be dope if he did. Because if Trump and his personality could do it, then why can't Kanye? Right, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> right. Um, at least I know that Kanye has some relationship with God. Like I can... I know he has some type of relationship with God. Like, right. you don't do and say the things that he do and say if God ain't involved. Because he, yeah, not, for this long like, too. Because it, it wasn't like just a fluke. You know, what I mean, he's he's been on his way for a minute now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He actually is the one who showed me that going all the way back to Jesus walks. He's been on this journey. I didn't know because um, I was a Kanye West fan from afar. So it was a lot of interviews. I've never right. listened to a Kanye West album. I just heard the songs that will come on the radio and stuff. Um, but he showed me, like, man, this dude's been on his journey for a while. So once you know that, mm. it's not left field. It's not a curveball thing. It's like, oh, you finally picked up the phone. It's been ringing. Yeah. Right. Right, right. So, um, all right. So with that being said, we want to thank uh, her and uh, Just a Messenger for stopping by. Uh, give yourself, where can they follow you? When's the project uh, coming out? I know it's in November. Uh, can they pre-order right now or you know, give them the details? Uh, I'll say this pre-order should be available. I'm actually, we're at the studio right now. We're in Studio B. Um, we made one change to the song Hallelujah. We extended it, made it a little longer. So I'm going to pick it up and I'm going to leave here and I'm uploading everything to Distro Kid tonight. Yeah, uh, pre-order should be ready in nine, less than a week, maybe. The pre-order will be available real soon. Um, November 27th, Black Friday, Urban Epistle. He'll tell you the rest. What you got to do is you got to prepare yourself <laughs> for this record, man. <laughs> Sitting on somewhere with somebody who you love, 
And then two people you don't. No, I'm just saying. <laughs> <laughs> y'all gonna be hugging. No, but uh, yeah, man. Like you say, Black Friday, uh, Urban Epistle, man. Um, it's coming, man. It's here. We got. I'm trying to shoot a visual for every record, you know. But realistically, we probably only do about three or four. But um, man, multiple multiple singles, man. It, it's it's truth music, man. And it's really letters. We writing letters to the streets, like he said, to the church, you know. And it's unapologetically speaking where some people going to be like, like, it's a lot of shock volume on this record. I'm just going to tell you, like, it's a lot of things where you're going to be like, wow, like, you know what I mean? But it's, it's backed up by scripture, you know, and it's, and it's definitely who we are, you know, cause we sit and talk about things. And then we realize like, man, we, we had these dope conversations, like two, three hours of God using us. And we bouncing like revelation off each other. We got to capture that in the studio and give it to the world. That's what God wants us to do. Cause once we hang up the phone, only me and him know. And then two weeks later, we don't even remember, you know? So right, God right. allowed us to capture these conversations, man, and document them and press it up, man. So again, Black Friday, man, November 27th, Urban Epistle. This is my first uh, album as a gospel artist. You know, I had like 20 something mixtapes in the streets doing that, you know, secular music and you know what I was doing, but this is my actual, debut you know what i mean so it's an honor to mm. debut with her you know we doing life yeah. together so royal priesthood man youtube Let's go experience man uh instagram just the messenger one the number one not the letters uh instagram uh h-u-r-t underscore rph man uh everything is an rph experience for merchandise go to righteous society apparel.com uh we got the R website coming real soon man that's what it is man uh check us out spotify shop all those uh the digital streaming markets man and listen to the music man just listen and then you can get an idea of who we are outside of the box on youtube just a messenger man so check that out it bring more into detail who i am as an artist as a person as a minister as a father outside of the box on youtube just a i'm glad you messenger i'm gonna put that on the page I never even thought of that. Executive like, decisions yeah. getting made right here. Live. That's, 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 that's so Love that. Love that. Love it. Love it. <laughs> yeah. So there you go, everybody. If you're watching this uh, this episode or listening after Black Friday, we will have uh, their description in the description with all their information where you can get the album and all that yeah. stuff. We want to okay. thank everybody for listening. One yeah. One more thing. Go ahead. Can I can I make a deal with y'all? Let's go. Uh, right on here. Let's go. I need everybody to say yes before I say anything. <laughs> we got to hear the deal first. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, well, I just followed y'all. Let me see. So that, that, was, that was the question. Oh, no. <laughs> nah, 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 nah. If we right. send you guys, if we send you guys uh, the album early and all y'all listen to it before the album drop, can y'all come back home with your listeners and give an in-depth, real-life breakdown of what you feel about the project? Right, so sure. I'm sold. I'm sold. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 Okay, so look, I'm going to send you all the project. I'll send you the artwork, send you the project, send you the waiver, MP3 files. And I just need y'all to sit down. And you don't even have to tell us before we get back on here and talk. We don't even have to be on here when you talk about it. I just want to see you guys talk to your people about it and give a real uh, outside perspective of what this project is, especially after talking to us about where our heart is concerning the project. Yeah. And then you actually mm. hear it. Yeah, I, yeah, I like no. that. Okay, yeah, I'm man. with it, because... Your yay is supposed to be yay, and your nay, your nay. Yeah, nah, nah, nah. I, I'm with it, man. I, that, that, with it. that video I saw today, I was like, oh, yeah, I'm on this. This this is my... Word. That was hard. Yeah, hard. yeah. Hard. I'm with it right. on the on the strength of y'all, like, when y'all meaning Jimmy, J Switch, y'all know, like, kind of like what you said, Hurt. Like, I, for me, I'll be trying... I, I'm trying to find that balance of where... You know what I'm saying? It sound dope where you still get some of that street content, but you ain't really talking street, you know? <laughs> so that's what I'm that's a lot of times what I what, what I what, what I get attracted to, because that's I mean that that's just me. That's just how I always yeah. been. So I'm I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna send it to the email that you guys emailed me from. I don't yeah, know that's perfect. Know. That's perfect. Yeah. I'll email it to that man and then uh I'll try to get it to you tonight. Dope. Yeah, y'all, dope. Y'all just let me know when y'all gonna uh, yeah. have a thing. We gonna, if you want us to come back, we'll come back. If not, we'll just sit back and watch like everybody else, man. There you I'll go, everybody. We, we, we got a part two we coming out. Exclusive. Right. We get an yeah. exclusive. That's what's up, man. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, yeah. 
Don't leak it, Jimmy. Don't try to leak it out in the West Coast. <laughs> it's gonna be our CHHTS. <laughs> yo, Jimmy, we on map Silla and everything. Yo, you heard it? Uh, yeah. Just the messages out. <laughs> yo, you gotta watch <laughs> Jimmy. He 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 still got Max L tapes. Yo, he probably just start <laughs> swinging them joints. I'm gonna start burning CDs. Watch. <laughs> oh man. Yeah. Yo, God bless well, y'all, brothers. We we definitely had a. I I was blessed by it, and um, I'm really encouraged. You know what I mean? I yeah, me too. Five and really. Nice. Really great, man. You're blessed by you, brothers. Yes, man. I appreciate that being said, coming on, yo. Word. Thanks With that being said, you. thank you for ha- thank you for listening. Thank you for the brothers for coming on. And uh, don't forget to get that merch. Um and uh shop th- shop that that's not We are the fastest growing Christian podcast. We'll see you next week. Peace. Peace. Peace.